On this momentous day, uh, Jeff and I have decided it's time we reread Jules autobiography. <laughs> Nothing says new pope like chasing down the dawn. Actually, you know, I think the, the thing I learned about Jewel in this is, uh, well, I learned a lot of things. What did you learn about Jewel in her autobiography, well, Jeff? Well, I learned that uh, for a hardcover book, it's pretty top-heavy. <laughs> just... You know, I think that this, this, uh, this photograph here from Jewel's autobiography here, I don't know if you can see it. There's a photograph. See that? I think that's posed by actors in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's really real. That's the yearly, uh, the cabin yeah, that's, set up that, at the mall? That's, yeah, what I'm trying to do is, uh, <laughs> because there's a new pope, and that's just the kind of thing that gets you in a lot of trouble. So I'm trying to, you know, create an alternative controversy by saying, I think Jules staged a photograph <laughs> in her autobiography in the hope that any, when I say anything about the new pope, which is likely in the show, yeah. that people go, go, hey! because everyone will be so mad that I called out Jewel on her oh, fake yeah. photograph in her book <laughs> that no one's going to be angry about me if I inadvertently say something that might be construed as poking fun at, you know, something that a lot of people think is very important. <laughs> yeah, the, the press is going to have a field day with this. Well, they're, they're going to go mad. I mean, Twitter's going to light up when they, when they find out I've said, you know... That Scottish guy said that Jewel faked a photograph. He didn't. Yeah, he did. And that she did it. No, she didn't. Are you crazy? Shut up. Uh-oh. You suck. That was, uh, that was very accurate, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that was a complete uh, depiction of Twitter right there. Yes. That's, yeah. <laughs> you suck. You suck. I think differently from you. Therefore, you're wrong. I like that you've imagined that there's a fake cabin in a mall somewhere. <laughs> Much, much like a Santa Claus display. <laughs> that's, that is a fake cabin. Look, look, look at that. That's, that's fake. And you know that, that girl? She, she's a waitress at Hooters. <laughs> All right. All right. Look, it's a real thing, and that in Jules uh, family where... Uh, maybe she... I don't know. I, look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, please calm down, relax, try and keep a little energy back because we have a particularly bad show for you this evening. Wow, well, they, they quieted down quick. Yeah, they were like, really? We're on your side. No, we're not. We wanted a good show and then you walked out and ruined it already. Where's Drew Carey? Where is Drew Carey? We want Plinko and then that other thing. Yeah, what's the, this is the game on uh, uh, Price is Right where the little yodely guy goes up. What's that? Oh, that's the, the mountain thing. The yeah, yeah. Is that what that is? What's it called? 
cliffhanger. Yeah, that, now that's a show. Yeah. Then they got the little guy goes up like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, everybody. Uh, I'll, I'll still be here, but I can sense you're leaving. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. It's a great day. Perhaps a great day for the entire world. I don't know if you can smell that right now. Yes, I put out some potpourri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you heard the Pope picking is over. The white smoke came out of the Vatican chimney, and as the old saying goes, if the church is the smoking, here comes the Pope. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> now, it was 100,000 people were packed into St. Peter's Square waiting for news of the Pope. It was a spectacular sight. It was like a uh, Pope of Palooza or something. It was, uh, it was really awe inspiring. Between, you know, that and Monday night's Bachelor finale, my eyes haven't been dry all week. <laughs> They're getting engaged. I know, it makes me cry. <laughs> anyway, uh, the new Pope Cardinal uh, Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Jorge Mali Mario Bergoglio. He's now Pope Francis I. Francis wasn't his first choice of name, but the Vatican wisely talked him out of Pope Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, remaining Catholics. Anyway, what do we know about Pope Francis? Well, he is uh, 76 years old, he's a former archbishop, he likes long walks on the beach, giant hats, and the music of Coldplay. Coldplay, yeah. I tell you this, if he's 76 years old, he probably watches CBS. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, Your Holiness. And the new Pope is from Argentina, or as Fox News reported today, another job taken by Latin American labor. But, uh... <laughs> Good night, everyone else. <laughs> anyway, Pope Francis is the, he's the first pope from Latin America. That makes him the forbidden pope. <laughs> Am I correct? The forbidden pope, yes. The forbidden pope. Do we have a picture of the new pope? There he is, that's him. Congratulations, new pope. Now, we must all remember that the last pope, Pope Benedict, will now be known as Pope Classic. <laughs> Like a joke right there, right there? That was like a yeah, joke man. right there. Hey, whoa, don't pace yourself. That's it. That's the only one. The new pope is the leader of uh, 1.2 billion Catholics. That's almost as many uh, followers as Justin Bieber has on Twitter. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you an idea how much people, that, that, how much that is. You take the, the number of people who watch this show and you add 1.2 billion, and right there. <laughs> Uh, the Pope, new Pope, I looked this up today, is also a Sagittarius. There, and I, I quote you, this is what I found out. They possess entrepreneurial spirit, and they're also excellent romantic partners. <laughs> Take that, astrological profile. <laughs> he's the Pope, he's not going to make a good romantic partner for you, is he? He's the Pope. The forbidden Pope. <laughs> Even for, for all the popes, that is for me. For me. Uh, anyway, I watched, the, I watched it unfold in the TV this morning. I was watching the news media going crazy, and the white smoke came out the chimney. And this reporter, he's a very excited reporter, he said, the new pope will be making his debut any time now. And I thought, debut? <laughs> what do you mean debut? Is he going to come out the balcony and sing Send in the Clowns? What the hell are you talking about? He's just, he comes out and he says, it's not a debut. He doesn't come out. Isn't it rich? <laughs> Are we a pair? Yeah, A lot of people were hoping for a female pope. Well, some people, you know. I thought it might be Adele because this has been her year, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. I thought she, I, she, I, I thought it might be Adele. Yeah. Now that, yeah. see that, that would be a debut. Adele would come out in the balcony and go. I'm the Pope, yo! <laughs> yeah, I'm the Pope, yo! Yeah. Like, you know, like in Skyfall, yeah, you, except you, I'm, you the just, pope, yeah, I'm the Pope, yo! I'm the Pope, yo! I'm the Pope, yo! You like that? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Ah, 
I could, it's like I, it's like I learned something new about myself right there. It's, it's my new thing. Jeff, do this with me. Come on. Uh, 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 oh, damn it. Yeah. Anyway, the, the new Pope, Pope Francis, will be packing his bags and moving to Italy, where he'll be protected by the Swiss Guard. And they're the official guards of the Vatican. Do a picture of the Swiss Guard. There you are. <laughs> The main job of the Swiss Guard is to guard the Pope, but also they make uh, the Pope's outfit look humble by comparison. <laughs> and this is true. The papal apartments are not yet ready. I was watching this on the TV and they said, the papal apartments are not yet ready. So the Pope will be housed in a hotel for a few weeks. Now, if I had a hotel, I'm thinking, that's the kind of guest you want. First of all, it's the Pope. And secondly, you know he's not going to be stealing any robes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Because he's not, well, first of all, he's the Pope. He's not going to steal anything. He's the Pope. And, and secondly, he's, he's got robes. Yeah. He's got robes. He's like, this is a nice robe. I've got a hundred. <laughs> got robes. That's, Pope's got robes. <laughs> you, you're you a Catholic, Secretary? <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, man. Yeah? Yeah, they accept all... all no, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't think you can be an animal and a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, didn't St. Paul say that God has no love for oxen? Didn't he say that? Yeah, that that's true. That's true. I don't, I don't know, know if it's true, but I think he said it. No, he said it. Uh, I don't know if that... I don't even know if he did say it. Did he? Could you look that up? Maybe we should cut this out. This would be a terrifying thing to get wrong. <laughs> Oh, that was an interesting shot of the studio audience. I enjoyed that. <laughs> well, I'm out of time here, Jeff. Uh, you, uh, well, not out of time. Uh, well, I might you, be. I might are you be. Gonna, are you going to die? You all right? What's yeah. Going on? Might be. Might be out of time. Oh my Who knows? Who knows how long you've got? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'd, yeah. I'd, they just plug my ass into a wall. I'm still. That's when you know you're alive, Jeff. Yes, That's when you know you're alive. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. I said uh, that thing about uh, the quote from St. Paul. I got it wrong. So I'd like to apologize for getting it wrong. <laughs> and then give you the exact quote, which is, uh, it's, uh, it's, from the, it's from Scripture. It's from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, where uh, St. Paul said, God is not concerned about the oxen, is he? Uh, so obviously there's nothing there about uh, fake horses. <laughs> So you're in the clear then, I think. I think you're going to be all right. Um, and I don't think we're going to have to edit, you know, that thing that I said earlier on, which is a relief because this is a live show and there's no way to do that. <laughs> Craig, is that a double bluff? No. Uh, Jeff, what time is it? It's Tweet Mail Time, brought to you by Potpourri. Stinkum sentium in your papal apartment. Excommunicate that odor with Potpourri. <laughs> Let's do our own jingle, all right? Oh, yeah, all right. Sweet and Sweet and Jewel took a family picture in a mall. <laughs> all right, this is from uh, Elise in Florida, USA. Uh, <laughs> Says, uh, Dear Craig, I saw your hands in front of the camera. They looked really nice. Do you get manicures? No, I don't get manicures. Like, look, uh, get the camera up here. Look at that. No, just regular fingers. These two here, these is my picking fingers. <laughs> these babies get everywhere. <laughs> if, they, 
<laughs> if these fingers had a song, it would be the old Johnny Cash song. It'd be, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Marcus in Trosan, Sweden. Wow, Sweden. Ooh. Ooh. I enjoy your furniture and booby ladies. <laughs> Yeah, the booby ladies. The booby. <laughs> Why are you doing a German accent? That's that. <laughs> that's the song of the yeah. Swedish people don't talk like this. That's our, that's our standard issue accent. That's for anyone true. That's true. We pretty much do that accent for anything right. over in that direction apart from French. French is a little like this, and then everybody else talks like this. <laughs> uh, hi, Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat. What's up? <laughs> Will you visit Sweden on your Baltic Grand Tour? Am I doing a Baltic Grand Tour? Yeah, it looks like you are now. I guess. There might or, not, uh, there might or might not be an award involved. <laughs> I'm in. I'll see you at the Café Opera in Stockholm at 11 p.m. on Tuesday. I'll be the gentleman wearing no pants. This is from Daniel in Las Vegas. Finally! Uh, uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I was out partying last night. Please tell me the horse is actually real. Thank you. Yeah, yeah the horse is actually real. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Donnie in Newton, Massachusetts. He says, hi, Craig, hi, Jeff. I heard you uh, say that Iran is going to sue over how it was portrayed in a Hollywood movie. Don't you think American lawyers will turn down representing them? <laughs> no. <laughs> no! American law, you yeah, American law. I am not representing you. I, I'm a brat. They're liars. <laughs> no, I, I think it's French lawyers representing the Iranian government. Yeah, that's right. Uh, how would they talk, Jeff? Hello, I am the French uh, lawyer. No, no, they talk like this. <laughs> Hello, I am the French lawyer. I am here to represent you. Yeah. This is from Jacob in uh, Hinesville in Georgia. It says, uh, hey, Craig, hey, Jeff, my mother and I watch every night. How come you call your horse a he, but he wears makeup? Hey, this may have escaped your notice uh, big time, but sometimes, sometimes guys wear makeup and they're still guys. For example, I'm wearing some right now. <laughs> you know these little things that football players wear under your eyes? I know they call, what do they call that? Eye black? Yeah, that's makeup. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but make a but no. <laughs> All right, this is from Michelle in Missouri. It says, uh, Craig, have you considered holding an intervention for Secretariat? We're very concerned about his uh, rampant cocaine use. <laughs> hey, hey. You're, you're giving it away. You know nothing about cocaine. That's not what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah, that. Do that. Now, keep talking until everyone hates you. <laughs> hey, 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 Jeff. Imagine the horses. You can mind read the horse, right? Yeah, that's true. Right, so mind read the horse on cocaine right now. Okay. Oh man, oh man, I'm so messed up right now. Oh my god, oh my god, wow, wow. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through this wall. I'm gonna run through this wall right now. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I'm invisible. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Look at me. I'm a ghost. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. I'm a ghost. Stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Okay, I'm walking. I'm doing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right. That's enough. It's too frightening. It's too frightening. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Tonight is a fantastically talented and beautiful actress. Her latest movie, The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, is in theaters March the 15th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Olivia Wilde, everybody. I love 
love, love what you're doing. Thank you. It's Thank that you. you get the stripes and then the bolt. Yeah. It's color blocking, it's but color it's kind of <laughs> taking it further. Thank you. Your makeup looks beautiful. By Thank you. I'm wearing makeup, but I'm a man. It's, it's unheard of. Mm, it happens. Do you wear a you you wear makeup? No, no you're no, not wearing never, any. Never. No. Wow. You're just naturally very. That's good. So much. Was Steve Carell wearing makeup on his <laughs> pants? He was wearing. He had to be tanned, deeply, deeply tanned every couple days, and waxed or shaved. Well, yeah, he's very hairy. I know Steve Carell. He's a very, <laughs> he's I mean, a bit of a hair suit. He's very, he's very bucolic. You, you feel you want to give him a banana when you meet him. <laughs> in well, he, you know, he's been waxed before. When he did Four Year Old Virgin, he did the famous oh, waxing yeah. of Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Which I now say every time I'm waxed. <laughs> I do my back, not. My, my chest, every time. <laughs> it helps with the pain. But this time he was shaved and tanned, and he had the big wig. So he had to go through everything that I usually have to go through for a movie, but this time I... But you didn't have to do any of that. No, I came in like... And it's a movie after. about, do you enjoy magic? Do you like uh, Carrot yes. Top and stuff? I do. <laughs> Huge fan. I... Carrot Top doesn't do magic. Uh, Who does magic? <laughs> uh, that other David guy. Copperfield? Yeah, that they, guy, yeah. They often get mixed. Yeah, I know, yeah. I, when I was little, I had a magician at every birthday party. Really? And yet, I never learned how to do the tricks. I just like to watch and be amazed, you know? I don't want to know how. I'm like that with sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never like to do want. any of the tricks. I just go, <laughs> wow! That's how amazing. do they do that? Yeah, nice. yeah no, it's nice. Mm. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Um, my, I'm, I'm Irish and, yeah. and American, uh -huh. and I have a dual citizenship. Do you have, are you an American citizen? Yes, I am. Look, oh, I yeah. got my tattoo. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, did you get a tattoo when you became an American citizen? No, no. Do you have any anything. tattoos? I do. I have a few. I have one really bad one. I actually have a bad tattoo club if you want to be in it. Uh, I, mine are all pretty awesome. Well. Uh, well. But it depends. What tattoo did you get? I got, I didn't plan to tell this story. Oh, no, I don't. I have a tattoo uh, uh, of a dragon that I got when I was 13, and it is... Who the hell is, would tattoo a 13-year-old girl? I know. I, you hand over cash, they'll tattoo a cat. They don't Wow. Care. And, and it, I was in New York City, and I thought it was a great idea. It had a lot of meaning at the time, but now it's hideous. But I started Where this club. Where is it? <laughs> It's, it's on my lower, lower, lower back. It's not a tramp. Yes, it no, is! No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. All right, it's all right. Over, it's over to the right. It's, on, I don't, it's, like, it's an ass stamp, which is probably a lot classier. Yeah, I mean, and also, it's kind of like it's of its time, you know? It's part of your story. <laughs> yeah. I have a huge tableau of a fox hunting scene in my back with a fox's tail disappearing into my butt. <laughs> You can be the president of the bad tattoo. No. I, that's the tattoo I've always wanted, but haven't had the courage to get, you know. I have a friend, I have a friend named Mike O'Brien who has bad tattoos on purpose, so he has buckets of chicken tattooed in different parts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like him. I'd like he's him to be my friend. He's the best. Yeah, he sounds yeah. like a lot of he's fun. He's in the clubs. You'll see him in the Yeah, I'll meeting. bet. Yeah, I'm not coming. My yeah. tattoos are good. Well. I don't have the, well, I'll get the fox hunt tattoo and then I'll come. Okay, good. All right. And what do you do at the meeting? Just all look at each other's tattoos? Yeah. I'll get a bad tattoo to see yours. <laughs> It'd be totally worth it. You can only it. see it if you get the Yeah, yeah, one. no, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm, for sure. I'm getting Pat Sajak tattooed on my ass. <laughs> Deal. Hey, uh, so if you're from Ireland, would it be presumptuous of me to think that you were a Catholic? Oh, I'm not, but, but, but I have all the respect in the world for our new Pope Boo Boo. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to dig myself out of that. It was just a joke. I was well, just a lighthearted... Well, it. No, it. it on was, TV. It was lighthearted banter. I didn't sure. mean anything by it at all. Yeah. Well, Knock it off. Not what Jewel said, so. Do you know Jewel? <laughs> My best friend. Uh, she yeah, she's been here. She's been here. She's been here. I had to ask. She wants to yeah. coming again. But oh, no, here. she will. The, the thing to remember about Jewel is she's got a very forgiving nature. Oh. Yeah, I met her at the mall once when she was getting her family. <laughs> Are you a fan of Jewel? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Really? What I'm other music do you like? Jewel. Do you like the... you? What, I can't remember a song. What was I it? I like a good... Oh, you like one of those? <laughs> I do like Yeah, I'll get a bad tattoo. I'll give you one of those. <laughs> mm. What else? What else? Do you no, I don't know, man. I'm kind of losing that, but...
<laughs> it's like everyone was going to fight, and I thought I was in control, but now I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break anyway. All right, well, let's do it. <clears throat> Yeah, we, we were talking about stuff that you'll never know about. It's bad tattoo club yeah. business. Yeah. Are you going to get any more tattoos? Yeah, probably. You know, once you get one, you get another one. They're kind of addicting. They kind of are. Yeah. I, I like the kind of feeling of get. I like being downtown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like being downtown, like when you're in the tattoo parlor and you're downtown yeah. and all the guys are around. Just around. A big, strange yeah. man just hurting you. And <laughs> Is that what happens to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I just think kind it of... Is, it, I mean, some people really don't like them. I, I, I do like them. I think I how think, they look, I like them. I think that what, when they're left on your body, that's just the kind of result of what happened getting it. It's more yeah. fun getting it than it is. Ha having it is just there. It yeah. doesn't really... It doesn't bother me at that point. Yeah. But, but the going to get it is important. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm, going downtown. <laughs> I think, though, as well, I, I like it because it makes me feel like I'm not owned by the Borg of show business as well. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like, do you ever do anything like that to just wander off? You feel like you're not part of this great... What's that coming, I go? ...machine <laughs> that tries to suck your soul out for yeah. profit. Do you, ever, do you ever do anything to try and get away from that? I try. Yeah. I try. You can run, but you can't hide. I know. Uh, and then they bring you back in with offers of cash yeah, and prizes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll give you cash if you come back. All right, okay. then. I know it's like when you're a kid and you run away and you get two blocks away. I know. Like, I've run away. I'll show them. And then it's dinner time. Yeah. Oh, they probably learned their lesson. I'll go home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look out, CBS. They're like, we're good. I'm like, yeah. I'll come back I'll come anyway. Back yeah. 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 Tattoos are expensive. I'll come back. Yeah, they are. They are. They really are. Bad tattoos, not so expensive. No. <laughs> no. They can be. I mean, there's so many bad ones. It's it's fantastic. I, I once when I was on House, you keep I touching. Saw, you keep touching. I don't mean to do that. It's yeah, yeah, but you can't help yourself. <laughs> it's like you know. No, see that. You know what that is? That that knee right there. Yeah. That's like catnip for actresses. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the magnetic. Like, yeah. Help it! I can't. Dare to live the dream, <laughs> Olivia. Dare. <laughs> But I was going to say, mm. when I was on House, I remember seeing a fan showed me that he had Hugh Laurie's face tattooed on his arm. Ooh. And I took a picture and showed Hugh really excitedly, like, look, look. And Hugh was like, that's the Caramba. most terrifying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I hate it. He's like, that. I've lost all faith in humanity. Yeah. I, but to be fair, I've known Hugh for 25 years. He yeah. lost all faith in humanity Long years ago. before. You're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're right. Listen, we're out of time. Uh, what? Yeah, I know. It goes so quickly, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we talk about the movie? You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, yeah. 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 We showed the clip, and also, it was aw it, it's awesome. I think it's it the number great. one movie of the summer. I think it's in the, of the year. Of the year. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to throw frisbees at the horse, or you want to play the trombone? I'll do frisbees. <laughs> I don't see a trombone. Oh, there's a trombone in here, but, you know, the problem is, of course, it's a little rusty. Uh, uh, do you, uh... I don't. Okay. <laughs> you don't? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, all right, then. Uh, frisbee's at the horse, then. All right, yeah. All right, love you wild, everybody. We'll be right back. There you go. I'd go a little higher. There you go. Yeah! Ask me who my next new friend is. Who's your next new friend, Craig? Here comes my next new friend. He's an actor. <laughs> he stars on Body of Proof, which airs uh, Tuesdays on ABC. Take a look at this. <laughs> Wendell Middlebrook, everybody. Wendell Middlebrook.
Wendell. Hey, how, how are you, Wendell? I'm you look, doing you look good. great, man. Well, thank you very much. I've, I appreciate may it. I, may I stroke this jacket? You may stroke this jacket. It's, it's like, it's a very plush fabric. It's so very... So you sound big, soft, and lovely. No, a little, I'm, a little bit. Oh, okay. But it's a very nice jacket. It, well, thank you. What is that? Uh, I call it a lot of whatever it is. Yeah. To make it, so I would say suede. It's it's kind of that you. It's like it some kind like of cow. <laughs> yeah. I never saw a cow that color and that fancy looking though. I, I. No, not going in. But this is what happened when it came out. All right. Yeah. How are you, my friend? I'm good, bro. Yeah, How are yeah. you? I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. I said a couple of things earlier on that may have got me into trouble, but I don't know. I think I'll be okay. Pope? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You, yeah, you in trouble. No, man. Yeah, you in trouble. No, no. I, I yeah. was meaning about, about Jules' autobiography. <laughs> uh, you in trouble about that, too. The fake picture. Yeah. You know, you, ah, you so you admit it was a fake picture? No. No, no, no. You said it was a fake picture. So it's, you know how that sounds? You said Jules went and found a bunch of white people that look old and put them in a book. <laughs> Now, that's not exactly what I said, Wendell, to well, be that's fair. pretty much. You said it looked like a picture in the mall. Yeah, well, uh, have you ever done that? No, I am not an old white man in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> no. You ever had your picture taken at the mall, though? I have had my picture taken at the Did mall. Did you get it make it look old-timey? No, I tried to make it look as young as possible. Uh, yes. You're still, you're, you're still from Texas, or uh, did that change since the last time? <laughs> I'm still from Texas. Where would it be from this time? Well, I don't know. You may, maybe you changed it to help your career. Actors do that kind of thing. <laughs> no, I'm still from Texas. All right, then. Are you still living there, though? No, I live here. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yes. I go back to visit Texas, but I live here. Right, okay. Yeah. You can't bring your gun up here. No, I can't bring my uh, gun. Nope. No. So a lot of my family can't fly to see me. They have to drive. <laughs> 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 Did I Up until so now, I was the only one in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, you get people in trouble. No, I don't. I don't. Yes, you do. You've been talking about the Pope all no, day. No, I have no, yes, man. Have. No, I have And look, it was not inspiring to me either. <laughs> a bunch of old white people walking in a circle looking lost is not inspiring. <laughs> no. Are, are, you, are you a Catholic? No, I'm no, not I a Catholic. No, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nope. I'm a Christian. I'm not a Catholic. Right, 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 right. I. Oh, so, uh, wh how about? Uh, <laughs> oh, now we're gonna change the subject. Are, are those? Uh, what are those sneakers? <laughs> They're white sneakers. I see, but yeah, they don't have. Get you far from that topic, then. No, no, come on. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> so how you been? How, how you? How you been? Otherwise, you all been right? Good. Yeah. I've been busy, which is a good thing. But, but that, the show's big hit. Was it like third season? Third season. That's good. That's yeah. the. That's we kind of rebooted. Got re a lot more renegotiation. Thank God. Renegotiation. <laughs> yes, it that's just, nice. A lot more crazy, which well, we love. What are you doing with the money? You gonna uh, you gonna buy a plane? Uh, no, not a plane. I just pay my rent. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the basic thing, eat food. Listen, eat, eat, how much food? Oh. <laughs> Take a look at me, how much you think? Would you like to eat? I like to eat everything. I like barbecue, I like fried stuff, I like ice cream. You can't, you can't eat all that, man. You gotta, you gotta like, eat a little healthy. You gotta eat I some do. of that and eat a little so healthy. So what you do is you try to eat healthy, you kinda eat salads and you, you eat chicken breast and that kind of stuff, but then when you want comfort, you go get all of that. But I, I, had a I had a difficult childhood. I always want comfort. That's the problem. <laughs> well, you know, but are you eating healthy? Yeah, some of the time. What I, what I do is this. Well, I, I eat healthy at... Well, and we'll eat together. Right. So what I do is I eat healthy at mealtimes, okay. and then I eat garbage standing over the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> well... It's like you take it from the fridge, and you're going to eat it over the trash, like like a kind of like forest creature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. Make it quick. It's like you're not really eating. Right, so you're not really eating it's it. It's not like you pick it up, you just kind of nibble on it, and just throw it away. Right, right. Yeah. And so when you're uh, lying in bed at the end of the day thinking, oh, man, what did I eat today? You forget all of that stuff and just remember the good stuff. And see, I'm going to try that. Yeah. Yes, if right. I lose weight doing that too, you, you look all right. Actually, you don't need. You want to lose weight? I look good as a big man. Yeah, yeah, I think you look good. Well, I pre now that you've said it, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're mocking me a little bit tonight. I think. I am not mocking You're you. You're mocking me a little I bit. I am not mocking you. A little, you. a little bit. No, not at all. I like you, Craig. Yeah, I see that right there. There was more. There was definitely mock in that. That's I saw called, it. Yeah, you're... That's called mystery. Mystery? Uh-huh. You don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm a girl on a date. <laughs> you know I got that kind of power, baby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, well, What's... you look good, so don't, don't feel like I'm mocking you, because I'm not mocking you. Y you're continuing to mock me. I thought no, we... I am not continuing to mock you. I'm just trying to have a nice conversation with a good man. Is that okay? 
<laughs> you a little nervous now, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Don't be nervous. Where'd you get that cup? Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico. You ever been there? No. It's a, that's a hell of a place. Yeah. If you ever need to get yourself some turquoise... <laughs> Do I look good in turquoise? I is bet that? you do. All right, I look good. Or, or uh, also, you know what they got there is uh, crystal meth. Uh, <laughs> so if you need uh, turquoise or crystal meth. You just went from bad to worse. Oh, what you? are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Craig, I am a, uh, a German immigrant who is a Catholic who lives in Albuquerque, and I, I'm very upset. <laughs> Now, how many tattoos do you have? I have five tattoos. Man, you go. I have none. That seems Not like an oversight. Why, why? Well, you should. Look, as a big man, you kind of learn lessons early. See, my stuff is already stretched and sagging, <laughs> so you know what it's going to look like when you're 80. So I, I never bought that argument about it'll look bad when you're 80, because, you know, chances are I'm going to look pretty rough all over, not just the tattoos. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, the tattoo looks great, and the rest of me looks like Crocky. That doesn't work out at all. Well, hey, when you see parts of me, you know what I'm talking no, about. I, <laughs> no. I, yeah. Well, I really want one of these cups. No. <laughs> not even for me? No, you, you, mo you mocked me, man. And then, and then you want my not, cup. I would never mock you. Well, I think we have a spare one uh, backstage. Because I think it's cool. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And it's good. It, gets, it draws the eye, doesn't it? It does. It, draws yeah. the eye. it kind of matches, you know? Yeah, it makes you... Like, ladies look at that cup and they think, uh-huh. Oh, that's what it is. There's an idiot. <laughs> 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 All right, we're out of time. You want to throw frisbees at the horse? You want uh, an awkward pause? Uh, there's uh, a trombone. Uh, whatever you want. Let's throw frisbees. Can we? Oh, uh, uh, <gasps> thanks, man. Just uh, look at that. Yeah. See? Yeah. Look at that. Thanks, baby. There you go. Look at that. Uh, oh man. Uh, uh, see? Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Uh, uh, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you very much for. No, sharing. no, you're welcome. I just love that Eddie just walks out and gives you a cup and leaves. Uh, <laughs> Like, here's your cup, that. man. Yeah. It's nice. It looks good, though. It looks nice and shiny. Now, you want, now you, want your, uh, you want your fang chipped off, like mine? No, 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 no. I like mine nice and shiny. All right. I, uh, the, we, uh, you know, grew up in Scotland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Just a rough, rough day? Is that what it is? Rough day. You're All right, we're out of time. All right, right, okay. You're pulling me a little bit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Wendell Middleworks, everybody. All right. I'd just like to apologize for any offense we caused this evening to fans of Jewel or Catholics uh, or, or anyone. Actually, I don't really want to apologize at all, but I'm being made to. So, uh, here we go. I am deeply and sincerely sorry that you have no sense of humor. Good night, everybody.